Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain the solution for problem F, education, from the code for this round 713, division 3, a round I just took as being out of contest, and as you could have seen in my previous video about problem E, I managed to do quite well, so I had the spare time to cover some problem solutions. So let's begin. Here we have uh, a guy who has a job and he wants to buy a computer. And uh, there are n tires in his company and each tire is paid better than the previous one. And that's a really important observation as you will, be, as you will see later. And he has two choices at each day. During each day he can either work or attend an online course and get promoted. And here we are given an example of how can he actually do this thing. I mean, one of the possibilities. There can be more optimal or less optimal, but in the case of this sample, I think they gave the optimal approach. And we need to find for each test case the minimum number of days after which Polycarp will be able to buy himself a new computer. And since I said earlier that it's really important that the numbers are in increasing order, like the wages for each day, we will be using this in our advantage. And based on this sole reason, I can say that uh, for each day, we can literally choose to stop there. And the optimal choice would be to just rush to that position and then work with that position until we get our goal done. And the reason why it works is quite easy because we are given an increasing array and our goal is just to rush over the bees in order to be able to get whatever we want. Because after all, we can't work a better job before a work job. So in order to do that, we need to know how to do two things. We need to know how to compute the number of days it takes us uh, to promote to the next job. And we also need to know how to compute the number of days we need to get to our goal. And both of these are quite easy. I'm going to explain how to compute uh, the number of days needed to promote and then the number of days needed to actually do the job. And then I will show the implementation. So in short, if let's say we started with a sum of one equal to x, because after some day, after buying the online course, we might have some money left. So we need to take that in consideration, that x sum of money. We also know that we are earning AI money a day. And we also need to pay BI for promotion. So that being said, the number of days needed for Polycarp to promote is equal to BI minus X over AI. And this is sile because if let's say, I don't know, BI is 10, X is two and AI is three, he needs to be working for three days because two plus three times three is 11, which is bigger than 10. But if we, if he works only two days, then it's not enough because as you know, two plus six is eight. So that's not good, but this is good. So it's the style of BI minus X over AI. And a similar formula can also be obtained in order to check how much does he have to work in order to buy a computer, assuming he can work from then on to that position. Instead of BI here, you will have a C. So it will be like CI minus X over AI. Now, this part is a bit complicated to implement because the style function given by the C++ language isn't always reliable. So we need to work with reminders a bit, as I will show in the solution. Basically, we will compute the reminder of this expression. And if it's bigger than zero, then we will be adding one to the number of days necessary to get our goal done. Let's go now over the source code. Here we are reading the input. And here I am assuming that I'm stopping at i. So I make Polycar promote all the way to the i tire. 
and then I count the number of days. So I firstly count the number of days required for him to buy uh, the computer, assuming he stops there. So it's like C minus the amount of money over AI. And this adds one if the reminder is bigger than zero. This could have been written by an if as well, if you don't really enjoy writing things in a more condensed way. But writing it like that is good as well. It's your choice, actually. And the number of days will be the minimum between the number of days we spent so far for promotion and the number of days we would have to work for buying the computer. Now, if we can still promote, we have two oh, choices are more like options. If we don't have enough money for promotion, we need to work for that money. And in that case, we have a similar formula to the previous one. You just replace C with BI, and it's literally the same formula, in a, as I mentioned in the whiteboard. And here we are adding to the amount of money, the amount of days we work times the wage for each day. And we are also dropping the cost of the online course. And otherwise, we are just dropping the cost of the online course because there might be a day when the online course is quite cheap and we have enough money, money for it. So there is no need of us to work for the money. We can just keep to the next uh, job, which is better paid, since all the numbers are in increasing order. This is quite an interesting, greedy problem. And if you know how to approach it right, it, uh, it's not too complicated either. If you enjoyed solving, the, if you enjoyed watching me explain the solution for this problem, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell button in order to be the first one to get access to the video. Also, if you join the Discord server, which is in the description, you also get access to see various exciting events, and you will also get notified whenever I post a video or some other material. Until the next time, stay safe, good luck, and goodbye.